Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm not Lady Miss Nicole coming at you today. And today we are continuing our talk about how to get a man to marry you. I have given you so far 13 tips to help you get a man to marry you. And I'm going to give you another one today because I believe that there is just certain things that if that you can do for a man, that if you do any set of things, if you do all, if you can do all of these things on the list, ain't no way this man ain't going to want to marry you. I guarantee you, I'm telling you, immediately, just you just change. I'm talking about he going to want to be with you forever, forever, ever, ever, ever. Okay. So. We're going to pay these bills. NicoleArcher.com is where I am. You can schedule some time. We can talk for free. I can help you come up with a plan to get your man. I want to see you win. I am here, your sister from a different mister. Uh, The Average Woman channel on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, watch my videos. I'm there. Um, Also, the uh, podcast, Average Woman podcast. I release new videos every Tuesday and Wednesday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, tune in and I'm here whenever you need me and we'll be right back all right and so today we are talking about how to get a man to marry you I'm giving you my 14th tip on how to get a man to marry you okay this one is very important ladies I'm sorry but class okay you have to have class about yourself. You, class will get you into doors where money will not get you, okay? If you don't have, well, a lot of y'all say it's bougie, okay? It's a difference between being bougie and being classy, okay? Bougie is when you stuck up, arrogant, when you really shouldn't be, <laughs> you know? Nobody should be stuck up, arrogant, Uh, none of that there because why because you don't have to compete with anybody you are your own spectacular individual self okay you don't have to compete with another couple uh, because they can do this and they can do that we all bring something great to the table so we don't have to be hating on one another and hating on one another and being envious and jealous of anybody because that don't help us as a people do anything all that little pettiness all that real housewives of Atlanta type stuff we could go on for years without having any of that because there's too much money out here to be made it's too much businesses opportunities and things that we can get into if we leave the foolishness at the door okay and class will have you like that because being classy ain't about that little that those ladies on tv is not classy not a one of them okay <clears throat> because they all get hood and want to cuss you out and act the fool you ain't got to do that the way that you remain classy is that you keep certain elements of your life and your business to yourself and don't invite everybody to the party okay you keep your mouth closed you respect your husband at all times ladies you don't you don't talk shit about him behind his back chill out you don't talk shit about him behind his back because that's not how it works that's a quick way to get your house towed up okay so you don't talk shit about your man okay the next thing that you definitely want to do is you want to understand that all y'all not going to be on the same level all you and them ladies y'all not going to be on the same level y'all come from different backgrounds and you don't have to like one another but to you have to accept the person just for face value and deal with them accordingly. You don't have to let them all into your world so that they, everything is personal, everything is an issue. You don't need to know all the past histories and this. We need to be figuring out what value are we going to bring to each other's lives. That's what you need to find out. What value can these, this couple, these people bring to my life? Okay? And what type of person do I want to portray myself to the ad, to these people? Because you don't want to have these people look like I don't want to deal with you. So you got to hold your mouthpiece right, ladies. You got to learn how to talk with some intelligence about yourself. You got to learn how to dress in modest apparel. 
don't be the one that's always half naked just because you think you cute. Don't no woman want no woman that don't know how to be respectable around her husband. Whether they're going to look or not, that's not the point. The point is respect mine and I'm going to respect yours. And we girls should always act like that and have that code. That's the girl code. Okay? The girl code is I'm not going to mess with your man. Okay? I'm not going to steal your stuff. And I'm not going to tell on you. Because I'm going to kill you. You're going to keep your business to yourself. That's what you're going to do. Because ain't nobody can tell on you. So you're going to shut up. That's what you're going to do. Okay? Keep some class about you. Keep some mystery about yourself. It ain't what you do, baby. It's how you do it. It's how you do it. All right? You got to keep some dignity and some class about yourself, especially if you tell me, y'all tell me y'all want a high-value man. Ain't no high-value man want you. And when you know hood right, booger, you ready to fuss and argue and cuss somebody out because the waiter was wrong. And no, hold on, hold on for a minute. No, 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 ma'am. You in there letting them, them people do your nails every week and all this here? No, ma'am. Ain't none of that classy. None of it. You know what's classy? Painting your own natural nails and growing them. Attending to yourself and bringing that woman out of you. That's what's classy. Not going sitting in the chair letting this lady glue hair all on top of your head and all this other stuff. That's not classy. That's hood rat hoe stuff. It's a difference. Okay? The classy women, they take care of themselves. They love themselves. They appreciate they, they work hard to keep themselves together. Because they care about what they look like and who they are. They try to hold it in the road, find ways to fix their stuff, but they don't paint and cover it up. That's not how they roll. You got to have a, 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 so you got to have class, ladies. Yo, if you want a man to really want you, when he having all these, just your man, he got ambition, he got goals. He want a woman on his side that will represent him well when they in public. He wants a woman that's going to raise his children to love and respect him because that is very important these days when it comes to our families. We have to train our children to love and respect their father like we need to love and respect their father. And the best way to lead is by example. So you got to first show that and be that. Okay? You got to be that. You need to let him know, look, I'm, uh, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. you. Your actions speak loud in the words. And, pe- and when you operate like that, people will know how to play you. Not sitting there being a, a, a B-I-T-C-H all the time. We're not going to be that. But we're not going to play ourselves either. Okay? We're not going to play ourselves. So I can't really get into the dynamics of the whole situation because it requires more time and I'm trying to restrain from the whole thing so you're going to have to meet me where you get me, right? You're going to have to meet me where you get me at this <laughs> this time, ladies. So, listen, class is everything, okay? And and people see class is something that you can't hide. You can't think that you have class because people can see it. Either you got it or you don't. And if you don't have class, you need to, you need to evaluate your behavior, the way you talk. The way, I mean, your voice, even your voice needs to be at a certain tone. Your voice matters. Loud, squawking and all that. You don't have to yell at nobody. Speaking in a steady, monotone voice is the best way for people to understand you where they're not off. Because the unfortunately, okay, nowadays, all, all people of color have been rated angry. So you have to learn how to speak in a way that is non-threatening to people so they don't think that you already going on 10 when you really just on one. If you on one, then your voice should sound like you on one. And you should stay on one if you want something to be solved or you want uh, to have a conversation with somebody. Nobody is gonna deal with you when you yelling and clapping and acting a fool around them. Don't nobody want a chicken head hanging out, going to, to restaurants and parties. That's like a Karen. You don't want it, don't be Karen. Don't be Karen. It's not cool for you to be Karen. Karen is not cool. We all don't, nobody likes Karen. So if you know that nobody don't like Karen, don't you be Karen, okay? Chill out, because it's not, it ain't nothing cool about it. Yeah, you could cuss them out. 
Yeah, you could get mad and throw something, but why do that? Is that going to help the situation or is it going to make it worse? And you don't want the situation to be worse. You want the situation to be resolved. That's the goal. So you need to have enough class about yourself to learn to maintain your composure when you out here in these streets, moving, spending your money, getting in with your man, whatever it is you're going to be doing. You need to make sure that you keep your level of composure because you ain't got no business putting your hands on nobody. You ain't got no business in that fight. And it should never get to that level because it's never that serious. It's never that serious to go fist the cuffs unless it just done got that serious. And it should never get that serious because it ain't that serious. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from on that one there too because that was a deep one right there for me, y'all. I was like, I was just because I was trying to make sure that I took it there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... All right, so let's go. Okay, so let's keep it. Let's keep it. Keep it normal. All right, so now another thing, being classy. Y'all, when y'all eat, when you carry yourself out here in these streets, don't be so quick to want to, uh, don't be so quick to want to jump up in a man's face. Okay? It's not real cool at all for you to be like, for you to, for you to be that thought that everybody looking at. Don't nobody want no man just like don't nobody want no man that everybody that I had don't nobody want no woman that everybody that I had so you got to be modest about yourself you know what I'm saying don't have your if you do got the biggest behind in town it don't have to be shown all the time you know what I'm saying you know a, you know a big booty on a black woman is just like a damn like the sun coming up you know we we got that but we don't have to let everybody know and see what we're working with that's the problem too It's like you want a man to judge you based on something other than your body so he'll want to be with you. But how can he get past your ass when it's always in his face? He just lusted. He really not attracted to you. He just attracted to the costume that you wear. Okay, so you got to be mindful about that. You wonder why the man don't want you is because in the beginning, you didn't even present your real self to him. And the first thing that you got to understand is that you want the man to be attracted to the woman that you are, not the one that you create, because he's not going to fall in love with that. He has to fall in love with you, the person that you are at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And you have to have you got you got to know who you are, ma'am. And the only way that you can do that is develop some class about yourself and hold yourself to a certain level of respect and and just a line, you know, a line that you don't cross with yourself. I'm not going to let you get me out of myself. I'm not about to be arguing with you. I'm not about to be fighting with you. We're just not going to do that because it doesn't help me get what I need from you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, which is peace, love, understanding, going shopping, you know, whatever we're going to do. That doesn't argue with you. That don't help me. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. And let's come back to this relationship and us loving on each other. We've been going. We've been too. We've been good. We don't need to be doing this. Here. You should not be the one always ready to break the peace. You should be the one that be like, you know what? I don't want to argue with you. It's good. What, what we going to do? What you want to cook? What you want to eat for dinner tonight? Not, oh, I'm about to start fussing because I don't feel like cooking and I'm about to start a problem. Nah, you done been so good to me. The least I could do for you is cook you something to eat. God damn. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you want to do something for him just because you want to, not because it's something that he got to make you feel some type of way. But another thing, do what he asks you to do, not what you want to do, because they don't appreciate what you want to do. They appreciate you doing what they ask you to do. That's why it's important for you to listen to what they say so that you can go out and do what they need you to do. Just remember that, okay? That was just a side note. But that's classy too. Listening to your man and just remember once he told you and unless he tells you something different, don't deviate from the plan. If your husband has told you something that he wants to do, don't deviate from the plan. Your action should be working toward that plan. He shouldn't have to keep coming telling you what the plan is when he done said it before. This is the plan. So everything that you're about should be toward working toward that plan. If it's to get the house, if it's to get the car, if it's to get the whatever, whatever plan y'all come up with, work toward that plan together. You know what I'm saying? Because you're 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 powerful together, but you gotta you gotta fall into your position, and knowing your position is a classy thing. You know, because you're not trying to do too much. I don't want to be out here under the car, pulling up the uh, 
taking and, and rotating the tires and all. I let him do that because that's his that's his job. That's what he's supposed to do. You know, we're going to take the car somewhere and get it done and I'm going to help pay for it or we going to pay for it or he going to pay for it. It's going to get paid for. That's where we at. Not all of not not all of me trying to be be his be the man. I don't want to be the man. I'm comfortable with being a woman because that's what I am. I, I, I don't know nothing else to be. You know, and that's why class looks good on me because I can I'm, I can I can go harder, but I'm going as hard as I need to go as a woman, the woman that I'm that I was made to be, and that's where my power come from and, and my ability to be the woman that I need to be and and be effective and be a helpmate to him, period. Or oh, I'm useless. I'm useless. All right. And he can't take me nowhere and we can't build up and we can't do nothing if I can't be in my place and be in order. Because I'm not going to be an asset to him. I'm going to be a liability. You know, and that's definitely not classy. And that's not going to help him reach his goals, which is which him reaching his goals help me reach my goals. Because my goals is for us to live good and his goals is for us to live good, too. So we, when we on the same page, it's a beautiful thing, you know, but you got to. You got to know your place. You got to fall back. You got to stop being so extra. And we can work on that. You know, just hit me up. We can talk from time to time, I promise. Um, Until next time, ladies, I will see you on the flip side.